My name is Janelle Hooper and I'm going to do a curriculum review today for the Good and the Beautiful Science Units. I homeschool um, both my boys, they're ages 10 and 8, they're in going to enter 3rd um, and 4th grade in the fall. And we have been using the Good and the Beautiful Science curriculum since they were in kindergarten and I have really enjoyed it. Um, we kindergarten year was more of a nature based nature study type curriculum and then when we got into first grade we started doing their um, physical curriculums and today I have some new ones that we have not done yet that we're going um, that I'm going to show you today the first one is weather and water and this is one of their newer curriculums you can see that it's spiral bound it's absolutely beautiful it also has the option to get additional read aloud packs that come with it. So this has three books, The Schoolhouse Blizzard, Wild Wild Wind, The Beauty of Weather, and Changing Weather. And these read alouds are just really beautiful. The Good and the Beautiful has an amazing library, um, science books and non-science books that are the most um, rich supplement to your children's edu education and just really wonderful literature pieces um, to use and adjunct to learning with your kids. And um, The Good and the Beautiful is very Charlotte Mason based um, with their her principles woven throughout their curriculums. And one of the main ones is these uh, using living books and beautiful literature to teach your children. And I love how that is incorporated for you and they've handpicked these books and written some of these books from the Good and the Beautiful Library um, to go along with their curriculum. So diving in, the science units I love because they are family style. So if you have get children in multiple grade levels, you can sit down and do one curriculum with all of your children. This um, goes for grades three through eight and um, there's extensions at the end of each lesson, which I can show you when I open it up. But there's also student journals that accompany it. So there's two student journals. There's one for children's grade three through six, and then another one for children's grade seven and eight, which take them deeper into each lesson. So once you complete, complete the bulk of the lesson with your third through sixth graders, there's extension pieces for grades children in grades seven through eight, where they can go in deeper, and um, just research different things and really um, expand deeper into their knowledge base. One thing that I'm very excited about this, these curriculums, is redoing them when my children get older. So we'll have done them through the elementary and junior high school ages and then we'll revisit them once they get a little bit older and get the student journals to accompany the extension pieces so that they can deep dive further into each of these topics. So um, with each lesson, it breaks it up in the beginning of the book through each lesson um, and the supplies needed. So if you just wanted to prepare for your whole lesson piece, um, the science lessons usually have between 12 and 15 lessons in them. We usually do three to four science units per year. Um, we do one to two lessons a week and then we do school year round. It's just what works best for our family. So um, we do complete quite a few lessons throughout the year, but you can look at the supplies needed page and it breaks down through each lesson if there's any additional supplies that you're gonna have that don't come within the lesson book itself or in the student journal. And then when you go, there's a vocabulary section. So when you hit a lesson, it'll tell you what vocabulary words you're covering. You can cut them out and hang them up on your science wall. And then the lessons themselves are broken down again. So if you just look at the lesson the night before, any preparation that might need to be done to make it go smoother, and any videos, sometimes there'll be links to videos you can go watch on the Good and the Beautiful website or experiments. And oftentimes, if you don't have all the supplies to do the experiment at home, or you don't have time to do it, you can go watch the video of the experiment so you still get that experience. And then it tells you, it prompts you in each lesson what, where to go and what to complete in the student journals, which I'm really excited about because the student journals are something new that the Good and the Beautiful has incorporated into their science units. And I actually even got a couple of the journals for units that we've already covered for my kids to, act, to do for fun as review and to fill in and go back and just kind of build on that knowledge because I think it's just something really cool for them to have that they can look back on um, over each unit and see the work that they've done in one spot. The other new unit that they came out with is Health and the Human Mind. 
um, which I'm also very excited about. This is a grade three through eight science unit as well. And this covers the human health and your mind. And so it teaches them all kinds of different things uh, about how the mind works. And it also um, is very gentle in how it teaches, but it opens up discussions to have with your children. Like one of the books that come with it is the Addiction Questions and Answers book, the amazing thing called Memory, and a penny for your thoughts. So those are the three read-alongs that come along with this book and or this curriculum. And this also comes with the student journal, which again, I said I'm very excited about and we will be doing, um, when they get older, we'll revisit this with the student journals with the seventh and eighth grade extensions. But it's really cool and it's fun. Their, hand, their science is very hands-on, very interactive. And like I said, it's family style. So it's something that I can do with all of my children at once and I'm not having to break down into each child and do something different. So here's a flip, a little quick flip through. This uh, one has 12 lessons in it. So it's easy to do one lesson a week. You can break that up over a couple days if you want to or you can complete it in one day. So just whatever works best for your family. The other two um, curriculums that we got, these ones are not yet spiral bound. It's the birds and ecosystems. Um, very excited about this. We'll probably save the birds to do until um, once springtime hits because we get so many birds that come through our area. So that'll be really fun to kind of track those birds and learn about them and get our microscope, or not our, our um, binoculars out and really track the birds that we're seeing and go hang outside a lot. And these as well come with the student journals for, I did the grades three through six. And there's also a bird watching notebook that comes with this curriculum. And then the ecosystems as well. It's not spiral bound. So with, with these ones, with their curriculums that aren't yet spiral bound, I put them into binders and I get the sheet, the clear page dividers and just insert each of the pages into those so we can keep it nice. For when they do get older, I can reuse these curriculums for those extension pieces. And the last two curriculums I have today, or um, subjects I have today for science are health and the physical body, which I'm really excited to do this. One, because I really want my kids to learn at a young age how their bodies work and how to nourish their bodies and just how to set themselves up for success um, throughout their lives, how to choose healthy foods, how to know um, cause and effect cycles if you're not treating your body well and feeding it nourishing food, how that ultimately affects your health in the long term. And then the other one we have is kingdoms and classifications. And they will tell you when you open or online, when you're trying to choose what unit study you want to do, if there's a prerequisite prere unit to complete before starting that unit. So this one says most of the good and beautiful science units can be used in any order. However, it's very helpful to complete this unit before the botany or mammals unit. So I, I love how the website is very user friendly. Um, and they guide you into how to choose um, your curriculums for the year. So you can definitely um, access their website and I'll put a link for that below so that when you're going through and looking at the different science units, you can click through and see if it falls into your grade level and if there's any units that they recommend you do prior to completing that unit. This one also comes with the student journals. And again, I got two of these because they are consumable. So each child will be using them, they'll be writing in them, coloring in them, cutting things out. So once this student journal is used, it cannot be reused, but this curriculum itself can be reused, the spiral bound. So the student journals are the only consumable pieces in this curriculum. Thank you so much for watching.